Half a year has passed, and we finally waited for Master Shadow's return. The difference from the past is that this time he no longer pretends to be incompetent. He showed unparalleled strength as soon as he came on the scene. The two epic level powerful men will all fall at the feet of Lord Shadow. He holds the most powerful weapon in his previous life and stirs up the wind and clouds that will making people intimidated. I have to say that Lord Shadow's appearance was full of momentum. The lineup this time is very shocking. Not only the entire Shadow Garden team joins the battle but also the protagonist at Sister Claire and the strongest hunter Marie. Just because this country called Lala City is about to usher in a Red Moon Knight. At that time the vampires that will sacrifice humans to resurrect the bloodthirsty queen. However there was such a scene when the male protagonist was giving the order. With just one sentence all his subordinates immediately check their bodies. But in fact he hasn't finished speaking yet. He means there is the smell of blood and it seems that a new storm is about to come again. The way he appeared this time was extremely unique. He was actually dragged away by his own sister. For the male protagonist his last life seems to have happened just a second ago. And the next second it was the moment when his sister won the game. However this trip to the lawless city was also for the male protagonist as benefit. By accumulating merit he will be able to be recruited into the kingdom knights and make a living. After all the sister is the one who will inherit the family. Then there is the fear that the hero will get lost because this place is not subject to the law at all. There are human traffickers everywhere. And these two unlucky guys came here just last night trying to challenge the vampire. But they didn't expect that even the door guard was the rumored devil. Under the discipline of my sister if nothing else an accident happened. The hero actually got lost. And there are a lot of robbers stealing here. In just two minutes the male protagonist's wallet was stolen four times. But for him this trick was of no use. He also took out the other person's wallet every time. But when the time came in the evening the vampires actually started killing. Those who are killed will also assimilate and become vampires. They targeted the male protagonist. But a woman came along. She killed them all with just one move. She is Mary the most powerful vampire hunter. Moreover she also ordered the male protagonist to run away quickly if he did not want to die. The moon is starting to turn red and there is no time now. Such domineering words made the male protagonist even cry with excitement. The scene changed and this young girl was about to face death. Arrived at the battlefield like lightning in only zero, one seconds. The moon is starting to turn red and there is no time now. If you don't want to die just run away. I really admire the male protagonist for being able to use this technique to learn and sell it immediately. Even the girl was shocked. Who are you? However the male protagonist doesn't care about his sister's feelings at all. Claire was holding her head and crying loudly. She shouldn't have brought her brother here. But she looked up and took a closer look isn't this person her brother. The woman in the back said that she seemed to have seen her brother. Was her brother the one smirking at the vampire? But my sister was impressed my brother is an incompetent coward. It seems that he must have been captured by the vampires and taken into the castle. In order to save their brother Claire and Mary decided to team up and attack the vampire base camp. On the other side the strong men who cannot live in the city also begin to appear. They are the demon fox Yuki Ana the master of the pure white tower and the tyrant Gagnir of the pitch black tower. How strong are they? With just a fan all the enemies turned into blood. But the two of them are also incompatible with each other. As soon as they disagreed the two started fighting. At the same time the male protagonist is towering over them. He took elegance to the extreme. On the other side the protagonist's sister Claire and the strongest hunter Mary invaded the city. But unfortunately they met the people of Shadow Garden. They should have killed all witnesses. But when he blinked he saw that the other party was actually Lord Shadow's sister. Then ITL will be fine. But you can't escape the first day of the lunar month. But you can't escape the fifteenth day. They met the red-eyed tyrant Gagnon and had no time to escape. Gagnon flashed in front of the two of them. He punched Clea directly in the face. This was the first time that Claire was beaten so badly. And Hunter Mary couldn't block Gagnon's attack at all. The entire right half of her body was damaged. But in order to survive she must take a sip of blood. Just when Claire was surprised Mary's whole body exuded a red aura. It turns out that she is also a vampire. However such a general attack was not taken seriously by Gagno at all. Although you are strong I am stronger than you. The knife he swung so powerfully caused the floor to collapse. Before the two of them had time to defend themselves Gagnon ducked behind Claire again. She couldn't resist this blow no matter what. At this moment the male protagonist finally appeared. With just one casual kick Gagno was kicked hundreds of meters away. It can be said that Lord Shadow's strength is really terrifying. The sister who was rescued had no idea that Lord Shadow in front of her was her stupid brother. In order to ease the embarrassment just now Mary told Claire the secret of the bloodthirsty queen. That was over 1000 years ago when vampires were still in their heyday. Vampires often take pleasure in hunting humans. But later humans discovered their weakness and began to take revenge on a large scale. Vampires become extinct in just one night. But the bloodthirsty Queen Elizabeth is the king of some small country. In order to coexist with local humans their vampires voluntarily gave up their blood-sucking habit. Over time they successfully became immune to sunlight. But the bloodthirsty queen has no choice. No matter how far she stayed away from human blood she still couldn't avoid the sun burning her. However on that night a thousand years ago the red moon would bring powerful power to the vampires. 
Because someone added a drop of human blood to her food, Elizabeth went completely berserk. She killed continuously for three days and three nights. The kingdom she had created lay in ruins. Other countries have suffered devastating damage. In the end, Elizabeth committed suicide in front of Mary for redemption. Mary has no ability to protect the queen at all. Her body was taken away by Crimson and the others. They will resurrect the queen on this moon red night. When Claire and the others arrive, they happen to bump into the fully resurrected bloodthirsty queen. In just a moment, Claire's heart was sacrificed. Mary had no power to stop the queen. She could only watch as her companions were eaten. At this time, the people from Shadow Garden rushed over. Beta, the leader, raised his sword and cut off the queen's head with one blow. After successfully rescuing Claire, Beta threw out the detonating talisman with his backhand. The course of action of Shadow Garden is extremely tacit. They didn't know that even though the queen's neck was cut off, she was still safe. Members attack again. The two used weapons to control each other, and Beta delivered the fatal blow. This turned out to be of no use. Reckless Gagnon came up and punched the queen in the face. This huge difference in magical power caused Gagno to be instantly ejected hundreds of meters away. He had more than a dozen fractures all over his body. Queen didn't give them a chance to breathe and used a blood rain move with her backhand. Beta who led the team thought he could withstand it. Beta obviously underestimated the opponent. This level of magic blow caused everyone to suffer heavy losses. Range is so large that it can be seen with the naked eye. The queen's attack has not stopped yet. She caused Beta pain with just one look. She is actually able to control demonic possession. Beta looked back all the members had disgusting cells on their bodies. The hero's sister Claire did not escape this fate either. She met a woman in her dream. The other party claimed to be Aurora's woman. Under the horrified looks of several people Aurora faced the bloodthirsty queen forcefully. She is not afraid of the bloodthirsty queen. Because the opponent's strongest blow was created by her. Aurora is not Loki either. In this case I will let you feel what it means to be the strongest in the world. In an instant the entire space was enveloped by the realm. Because she wants to unleash the hero's move. Aurora's palms suddenly exploded. Her body couldn't bear the magic power at all. Everyone thought she had run out of magic power and was planning to escape. She just didn't want to play anymore. Because the hero has arrived. His domineering appearance is still as skillful as ever. Now that the strongest fighting force has come the queen no longer hides her strength. The male protagonist below is not lagging behind at all. The very quick flash he rushed to the queen's eyes. Two of them swapped out weapons very quickly. There is no doubt about the queen's strength battle between the two of them can be said to have reached the ceiling level. The eyes of the people below this is comparable to a fight between gods. Male protagonist above has also had enough. Seems it's time to call it a day. The male protagonist slash all the vampires regained their sanity again. Bloodthirsty Queen was also successfully awakened. All of this is due to Master Shadow. I have to say that Lord Shadow is awesome and he is indeed the male protagonist we have been waiting for for half a year. Shocking news has come mastering is going bankrupt time Master Ying's March Chamber of Commerce is about to face its most serious business crisis, because their opponent Qatar is deliberately trying to destroy them this time. He started doing promotional activities as soon as he came up. Brand name services are only 9, 9 and all come with free shipping. It's caused many people to start grabbing madly. Only the male protagonist knows that this is just the most ordinary financial crisis. On the other hand, Qatar took the opportunity to issue a new version of banknotes. A few old clothes can be exchanged for hundreds of dollars from him. The male protagonist didn't panic at all. They're ready to fight to the death. I'm going to kill you before I go bankrupt. By Captain Alpha they began to kill these evil capitalists. Such clean and neat techniques no one can catch them. Over on the human side even if they discovered the fraud of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce. Name tags they were wearing turned out to be just a label. They still succumbed to the extremely low price. The male protagonist did not hesitate and immediately assumed his new identity. Found the queen of demon foxes Shuen Nu to conspire with him. Turns out that the snow girl knows the inside story of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce. Top boss of their Chamber of Commerce is just a puppet. There was actually a powerful person controlling him behind the scenes. The person's name is Sword Demon Yudan. Yuki Ana knows him very well. Because Yuki Ana is actually Sword Demon's ex-girlfriend. Yuki Ana hates that man. Once slashed Yuki Ana in a fit of rage. The purpose of the snow girl this time is to take revenge. There are currently two types of banknotes in the market. Quizit from Alpha their March Chamber. The rough one is the Kara Chamber of Commerce. It also allowed him to find business opportunities. He remembered his biggest dream as a child, which was to print a lot of money. Male protagonist guessed the capital methods of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce. Long as you deposit 10,000 yuan into the bank, the bank will give you a certificate of deposit for 10,000 yuan. You can also use this deposit receipt to buy things. For you definitely didn't, he discovered the secret. For the 10,000 yuan you have in the bank and the 10,000 yuan in your hand, this money turned into 20,000 yuan without realizing it. The more people save money, the more money banks make. The male protagonist is even more exaggerated. He wasn't going to pay any cost. As he wants to print money and marry the snow girl home. Next second his plan was completely revealed by the snow girl. 
ale protagonist was instantly angry the revenge he had been thinking about for so long was actually revealed by the snow girl. Yuki Ana is also a talent. Thought about it again and realized that the banknotes were just a bait and the gold coins were the hero's goal. This is really embarrassing. Ale protagonist thought of Delta who was also an orc with him. Only knows how to kill people all day long if she gets ruthless she will even kill her brother. As there are so many of them orcs no one will notice if there are a few missing. In any case their cooperation was temporarily achieved. On the other hand Alpha didn't expect it. Favorite Lord Shadow actually abandoned them and started a road of revenge with the demon fox snow girl. Over he tied up the shadow members and played with them. 166 tried his best to fight with him, but strength was not even 10 as strong as Shadow. Soon he too was tied up. For some humiliation he threw them all out the window. The other side the Qatar Chamber of Commerce took action. Then several killers to assassinate March's top executives. How could they shake the strength of the March Chamber of Commerce? Alone can conquer everything. Or the enemy could see them clearly the two men were easily taken down. Is the difference in power. Killer is not weak either. Quickly dodged to the top of Gamma and slashed with his sword with his backhand. Apparently he hit the target successfully this time. Gamma was unscathed. He hates people who engage in sneak attacks. She decisively took out her big sword and started a fierce counterattack. Such a simple and explosive attack method it is difficult not to think that she is the newcomer. And he decisively threw out the chainsaw and slashed Gamma's head. The fact is obvious the chainsaw is bent but Gamma is safe. Done the enemies. Gamma hasn't shown his true skills yet. Magic power she attached to the sword alone was enough to destroy everything around her. It's just once Lord Shadow told Gamma that she was very powerful. Over he personally taught Gamma a set of combat methods. Terrifying is her strength. It fell down and the whole building was blown out of the hole by her. It said it was normal. Enemy was so frightened that his scalp became weak and he decisively turned around and ran away. It didn't give him this chance picked up his weapon and hurriedly chased after him. Or she accidentally fell down again. This time he was very lucky the weapon that flew out due to inertia in his hand just happened to be shot. Then plunged straight into the enemy. On the train the demon fox snow girl revealed the reason for her revenge. Yu Dan once hurt her and killed her mother. This time she must kill Yu Dan with her own hands. For obtaining the male protagonist's consent she printed a large amount of counterfeit money for the male protagonist. Even showed it to the male protagonist for appreciation. Execution ability was also recognized by the male protagonist. Before they could take action they were met by Delta the fourth seat of the Shadow Courtyard. Fighting ability is the most outstanding and she is also the most cruel. No matter what John Smith she came up with a quick claw and roar. The toughness of the enemy's steel wire was far superior to his or hers. This battle is extremely detrimental to Delta. And quickly added the steel wire and struck a fatal blow. Delta who was agile jumped back and forth and easily dodged it. Its roar even the rails on the ground were uprooted. Absolutely no doubt about Delta's brute strength. Launched a quick attack from high altitude but fell into John's plan. Steel wire to wrap around all the debris around him. He smashed them all towards Delta who had lost his point of strength. Lost this battle. Even though she was overwhelmed by the amount of clutter she still recognized the male protagonist by his smell. Ro didn't want to reveal his identity so he gave Delta special instructions. It's her to go to a lawless city abroad to hunt the Lord of the Dark Tower. In the Shadow Courtyard they thought that Delta had died in the battle cried and told Shadow everything and Shadow was almost stunned. He wanted to make some money with Yuki Ana but he didn't expect that he would end up in the current situation. Explainable Shadow is gone. An encrypted note was left in place. As long as Beta and the others successfully crack it they will understand the reason for everything. The protagonist was just thinking about life in front of the car when a figure appeared in front of him. The first alpha of the Shadow Courtyard. It's the hero's strongest warrior. Sparks from the collision between the two were enough to shock the entire audience. Endless fights between the two sides. Alpha suddenly felt strange. Familiar moves and movements, the male protagonist was unable to hide his identity after all. He had no choice but to break the jar and throw it away. Self admitted that he had abandoned the shadow name. Delta to a distant place. Once again attacked with all his strength, but the hero immediately showed his hand. Longest moves are not his sword and steel wire, but his fists and kicks. In random kick he can shatter the entire train. Immediately he punched this extremely powerful punch again. Strongest subordinate was defeated. Very unwilling to lose completely. The battle the male protagonist can finally share a large amount of wealth with the Snow Girl with peace of mind. To say that Snow Girl is definitely a qualified partner. She did all the gold coins from the entire Chamber of Commerce. After the incident was over she took no money and gave all the gold coins to the male protagonist. It's only one request and that is to take revenge herself. And to kill the man who betrayed her with her own hands. The goal is achieved will the male protagonist still agree to his original promise. He honor really take revenge with her own hands. In the next episode.